Welcome to Abhipedia Mains Question and Answer Discussion 2016. Today's question is What are cooperate, urban cooperative banks discuss their significance and the challenges faced by them in India? Okay. So could you throw light on what are cooperative banks? See, uh, basically we have a particular banking structure in India in which the institutional finance is either given through scheduled commercial banks, regional rural banks or cooperative banks. Now, cooperative banks are basically that people cooperate with each other, form a banking network and try to give finance within the particular metropolitan area or semi-urban area. Mm -hmm. And it's basically an endeavor of the government to induce financial inclusion in India mm -hmm. to reach where the uh, larger commercial banks cannot reach. Mm -hmm. So cooperative banks are that kind of setup. They, Mostly, have, a, yeah. they have a small capital base and their reach is small? Uh, yes, they are restricted to a particular urban area only. The capital base is also smaller. It is just that uh, you know viability of a larger bank is difficult to be sustained in a smaller area because number of accounts opening or loan accounts will be very small. That is why cooperative banks do the good endeavor there. And unlike commercial banks, mm -hmm. they cater to the needs of the local area. Yeah, like MSMEs mm -hmm. in the particular area or maybe small businessmen or salaried classes or professionals. So, unki needs ke liye zyada theek rehte hain, cooperative banks because bahut sare cooperative banks mein utni formalities nahi hoti jitne ki scheduled commercial banks mein hoti hain. To kabhi kabhi ye inke liye challenges bhi ban jate hain. Significant hai from the way of uh, financial inclusion and uh, the cooperative endeavor but uh, challenges is mein ye hai ki isme corporate governance nahi hai aur uh, dual control hota hai central government bhi control karti hai state government bhi control karti hai kyunki inke paas khud ke koi finance nahi hai mm -hmm. see for example jaise regional rural bank ko nabard refinance karta hai mm -hmm. to isi tarah se inki bhi refinancing through state governments hote hai mm -hmm. to inke paas khud ke kuch khas paise nahi hai ye refinance ke upar dependent rehta hai okay do they come under any lead bank scheme uh, no lead bank scheme is only for the scheduled commercial banks whereby they adopt a particular district and they uh, do the banking operations there for financial inclusion purposes. They are a separate entity by themselves, just like regional rural banks, mm -hmm. they work in rural areas, mm -hmm. cooperative banks mostly work in urban areas. Urban area, yeah, or semi urban areas. Small towns. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. But one of the major challenges which I found recently, up to say 500,000 notes, so in the news mein abhi aara tha ki, ज़्यादा तर जो शेड्यूल्ड कमर्शियल बैंक्स हैं इनमें पैन की रिक्वायरमेंट ज़्यादा नहीं रखते वो केवाईसी नॉर्म्स ढंग से फॉलो नहीं किए जाते हैं तो अभी ब्लैक मनी को व्हाइट मनी में कन्वर्ट करने के लिए शेड्यूल्ड कमर्शियल बैंक्स को सबसे ज़्यादा एक्सप्लोर्ट किया जा रहा है और आई डिपार्टमेंट की इस पर खास नज़र है इससे पहले भी एक शेड्यूल कमर्शियल बैंक और कोऑपरेटिव बैंक्स के बीच में हमेशा थोड़ा कॉम्पिटिशन भी रहता है क्योंकि वो दोनों ही अर्बन इन्वायरमेंट या सेमी अर्बन इन्वायरमेंट में काम करते हैं एक रिसेंट सर्वे था कि एक कोऑपरेटिव बैंक को उन्होंने चेक किया मैंगलुरु में और वहाँ पे 3500 ट्रांजैक्शंस जो हुई उनको चेक किया गया जिसके अंदर पैन लिया ही नहीं गया और ये सारी ट्रांजैक्शन 50000 रुपए से ऊपर वाली थी तो बैंकिंग में नॉर्मली कोई भी ट्रांजैक्शन होती है तो उसमें पैन रिक्वायर्ड होता है बट इनमें इस तरह की वो रिक्वायरमेंट्स कम कर देते हैं क्योंकि वो ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा बिजनेस लाना चाहते हैं अपने पास तो वो स्मॉल बिजनेस को अट्रैक्ट करते हैं so lack of corporate governance structure in these banks is a major cause of loopholes yes. in the banking system yes, yes, yes. and they need to be regulated well yes. by RBI. Yes, that should do it. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you sir.